Hi guys, so today in lesson two we're talking about place value, okay? So in simple terms, what you're going to understand from this lesson, okay, even though you can see it here, place value is just knowing the value of the number, okay? So for example, take this number here, we have 1440000. Individually, yes, by themselves. When we put it together, it makes a whole number. And this is where the chart comes in. Now, the chart you also have in your book, okay? This is called a place value chart. Now, it's color coded in any color. You can see, we'll start off on this side, okay? The first number you have is your ones, okay? Then your tens, then your hundreds. This together is called a period. So a period is a set of three, okay? It might not be the ones or the thousands or the millions, it can continue, okay? So a set of three together in a comma, as you can see, is called a period, okay? So we have the ones, tens, and hundreds. Now, I've got one pen, right? One, so the one will go there, because I've only got one. If I had 10 pens, 10, then the one will go there, and the zero will go there, because I have 10, right? So 10 has two numbers if you're in the tens, and so on. So, let's look at this number in a little bit more depth, okay? A little bit deeper. So, we have the thousands period and the millions period as well. So we have this number. Now, it just fits in perfectly as long as you put the last number on your right there as well, okay? That is the most important part. The last number you have here is always the ones. So this whole thing, we don't want to see it shifting over here, okay? It would be wrong to say that this whole number starts from there, okay? It doesn't. It doesn't start from there, okay? Always from the right side, moving to the left, okay? So let's work this part out because that is something we don't want to see. Now then, so you see this number, the ones, tens, hundreds, one thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, one millions. Okay? That's how we put our numbers in the place value chart. Right? Now, let's take it another step up. We have different ways of expressing to show this number. Okay? Many different ways. Four, we have what we call standard form, expanded form, expanded form with exponents, and finally, number name. Okay, now then. Number name is one of the first things you learn as you're going, right, as you're going through your maths. This is just writing the words as it is. Writing of one, two, three as actual letters. Okay, then we go to standard form. That's the next part. Now we're using the actual numbers. Okay, so let's take this one and let's put it into all these ways. Okay, so by the end of the lesson, what you need to know or be able to do is understand place value relationships through this. Okay, this is the lesson, this is the important part. So, let's go on to standard form. Standard form is just the numbers. Okay, just the numbers. So, we have one, four, four, zero, 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 zero. That's it. Standard form, it's just the numbers. So we're going to say it's 1,440,000. That's it. Now, expanded form. Now, what you need to do is refer or go back and see the previous video to this one, which would be lesson one. In lesson one, we talked about expanded form. Okay, how we can take any number and write it in expanded form and with exponents. Okay, so 
Now let's write this one in expanded form. Okay? So we have the 1 million, right? Now expanded form is separating each number. You see the 1 here? It's in the 1 million, right? So this is 1 million. This 4 is in the 100,000. This is 400,000. So it's 1 million plus 400,000 plus 10,000. And if there were any numbers here, it would be plus this one as well. Okay? So it's 1 million. Now, guys, for the sake of space, I'm just going to write it a little bit small and tight. Okay? Well, I'd like to write it. So we have 1 million plus now the 4. So it's 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 400,000. And the value plus this one, which is 40,000. Now here's an important part. Where you have a 0, you don't need to add plus 0. Okay? So there's no need for us to continue this. This can stop there. We don't need to add plus zero, 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 zero. There's no such thing as zero, one, zero, hundred, zero, thousand. No need to write that, okay? In the expanded form or the expanded form with exponents, okay? Now, let's do it with exponents, okay? So this is your expanded form. You're just taking each number as a whole, okay? So the one million and adding it with the next. With exponents, okay? So if we remember what we did in the previous lesson, we would remember from patterns, right? From patterns, that the 1 million is 10 to the power of something with an exponent, right? But it depends how many zeros are being used here, right? So let's have a remember as a pattern, right? Let's just cheat a little bit and write it here. So if we remember 10 to the 2, is 100, right? There's a number 2 there, and there's two zeros. So if you follow the pattern, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. So if we have 6 zeros, then that must mean it's going to be 10 to the power of 6, because this little number needs to match the amount of zeros that we have. Okay? So this one will become 10 to the power 6. Now there's one little part I want to add, okay? If you look back in the video and you've seen that, okay, let's say we have 10 to 2, but if we had 7, sorry, my right mess, 7 times 10 to the 2, it would then equal 700, right? So it would be 7 times the 100. So we're going to use the same thing here, but we're combining, we're putting things together, okay? So this is not just 10 to the 6, it needs to be 1 multiplied with 10 to the 6, okay? That gives us our 100,000, not just the 10 to the power 6, 1 times 10 to the 6, okay? The same with this part, let's take out the 4, just like this now, right? 4 multiplied by, right? Now we have 100,000. How many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, it's going to be 10 to the power of 5. Okay? And last but not least, this one. Again, the same thing. We have 4 times how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to be 10 to the power of Okay? There's one little thing we need to add. And that is parentheses or brackets. It basically separates certain parts of what you're doing. Okay? So it's very useful, easy to see as well. So we have a lot of multiplications and additions in here, right? But we need to know that this is together, and this is together, and this is together, just like in the periods. So we'll use parentheses, parentheses or brackets. And we're going to put that there because that's all together, then this is all together, and this is all together, okay? So use your parentheses or brackets, whatever name you want to call it, to be honest, it doesn't really matter what word you use, 
They both mean the same thing. Okay? Now, lastly, number name. Saying it as it is. Okay? So we have one million. So you have to write in words. One million. Then we have four hundred and forty thousand. Right? So we've got four hundred, you can see from our words there, and the forty thousand. So we have one million four hundred and forty thousand. Okay? Four hundred and forty. So to be honest, we never use it. I'm sure my spelling is incorrect. But I will get okay. four hundred and forty four. Okay, and done. That is it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is one or two different examples. Okay, going from different places. What if we want to go from there to there or there to there? Let's just do a few examples. Let's clear this part off and we leave the top part on. Okay, so. Now then, let's take a look at You all have a book here, right guys? The first question, so question 2 Write 4050 in expanded form Expand it up. So we have four. 
van zijn draaibaan zijn ze vol. How many barrels? Vol. Right? And this one we have 6 times by 10 to 2 equals 100. Now the next step, simply multiply that. Just write it down because the steps make for very good practice, guys. So we have 40,000, okay? 6 times 100, you know, 600. And now just add it together. Okay, that is an addition. So that leaves us with a final place value, very important, okay? So we have 40,000, right? And the 600, make sure you put them in the correct place. This is why I always say practice makes perfect. You practice it in the style all the time and that way you'll never get it wrong, okay? That pretty much sums it up for this lesson. If you can go from there to there, from there to there to there, then you've understood the lesson and that's great, okay? If not, then we'll just do a little rewind and we'll just make sure that we're going through the steps carefully, okay? And that's pretty much it.